All right, guys, in this video, another CPU mining update with NiceHash. Nothing new, nothing really outstanding to talk about. Uh, not like the old days of Thanksgiving last year when mining was really good on NiceHash CPU mining. I have been trying some Zerg pole mining again. I have 25% of it built up. Mining Ghost Rider, it's just not accumulating enough to justify uh, keeping the rigs running on Zerg Pool. I tried Varus, uh, Varus Coin, Varus Hash, and the thing with that is the pool would just drop. There would be nothing popping up for like 24 hours, and then it kind of just went away from Zerg Pool. I don't know what's going on there, so I went back to Ghost Rider and uh, been messing around with that. Now I'm just back with Nice Hash. And uh, that's what today's video and some other stuff uh, we will talk about. Uh, so yeah, right now it's not looking too good. Uh, $3.16 current actual profitability. And as you all know, if you watch this stupid channel, is I got a mix of old CPUs, an old Ryzen 5. Uh, we got a 3900X 12 core, and they're all mostly 3900X except this guy which is at 3950, a little more juice on that puppy. Again, older, I bought these back when I was GPU mining a couple years ago just to try something new because I quickly learned I was getting sick of GPU mining because the, just like I always say, the overhead, the uh, heat management, electricity cost, the noise, the maintenance, um, and just the cost of the damn cards. If they go, man, you're gonna be out 600, 800 bucks. And one card did fail, and I know some people know how to fix them. I just don't have the time. So I did sell. I pretty much sold everything. I got a 6600 and a lot of 1660s left just for fun because, you know, just to, to try. I can't. Did I speak right? Anyway, just to try to sell them on eBay. It's just not. Um, juice isn't worth the squeeze, especially when uh, crappy eBay takes 14% off the top. Yeah, that's another. that's another video. And most times you do get scammed on eBay by buyers and the uh, platform eBay does not support the merchant. So just beware. Same with PayPal. Watch out. If you're using PayPal and eBay. Oh my God. You're probably losing money. All right. So here's where we at. We got these rigs running. Nice Ash is doing a job. I mean, I can just set these things up ever since a month ago or so when I got the uh, XM rig to the most current version from XM rigs GitHub. Everything's been running really nice really smoothly uh, versus using the nice hash miner app to keep the uh, latest version which it won't it's like a really old version they have and I get it they probably have a version that works with their pool or whatever and they're comfortable with it but updated it no MSR mod errors or anything it runs smooth uh, the only time it will act up and I get like a low hash rate here is when they try to update the miner push out an update and it just seems to make it go wonky. Like right here, 13's acting up. So let, let's go, let's go. Might as well do this a uh, day in the life. I have not looked at this in a while. Maybe that's why my daily's down. So let's go look at number 13. Oh, I forget how I do this. Uh, yeah, if you're not using Brave Browser, here's what you get, your rewards and stuff. You can log in and have an Uphold wallet, which Uphold charges high fees, man. Some of these wallets are just ridiculous. You accumulate some of these rewards, these bat tokens, using the Brave browser for ads and crap. I don't see any ads, but I still accumulate bat. It's kind of cool. You get 10 bucks a month or so. Man, over a year, that adds up, right? But then you go and I move it. It gets moved to Uphold automatically. And then I go convert it. And then to BTC, Bitcoin. And Uphold charges this wonky high fee. What are, you know, it's just all... They're just all, yeah, what are you going to do, right? They, they got you. Yeah, Uphold's pretty high. I don't like them. Uh, let's see. I was doing something and I totally forgot. Blammo. Blammo, 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 blammo. I'm trying to figure out. Let's get this fixed up here real quick. Hold on, guys. This is all wonked out. Do, 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 do. Right, I'm going sh to fix 13. Let's go into 13. Make sure it's... Oh. All right. I think... Hold on. Let's get rid of this. 
Oh wow, okay. Let's bring this back over so you can see it. Hope you up oh, where's my OBS studio? That's what I record on. Alright, this is rig 13. Real-time troubleshooting. Okay, zero hash. I wish it would send out an alert. It might, there might be a setting on here. I just yeah, there's alerts up here. I just have to get them emailed to me. Ah, right, let's see. That's 13. That's a network issue. We had a power hit and then the network went down. So I need to update my notification. So if the hash rate goes below a certain amount, I get an email. So let's go over here. And now if you look at this, it says zero right here. And now you can go up and say, oh, I got an alert. What did I get? Miner was restarted. That's it. So I don't know what's going on with this guy. There's no errors. It kind of came up. So what I do. Nothing's moving. It's it was doing it today, but it kind it must have did a restart. Let's see. Did it say restarted? It was updated. But it was updated on the twenty third. Mine restarted three minutes ago. Oh, okay. It was restarted. Okay. So just give it time. Okay, I must have just caught it right when it was restarted. There it goes. It's running. I have no idea what I restarted. Oh, yeah, I have no idea. Okay, sometimes it's like with your stock portfolio, it's best not to touch it. And I'm sure that's going to come back in a second. Let's, let's just reload it. I'll force reload and see what happens here. Do, 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 do. Bum, bum, bum. Temperatures look okay. Green is good. All right, that's still not reporting. Are the other ones okay? Sometimes when it pushes out a restart, the other ones actually get restarted as well. I'm sure there's a way to, to disable that. Uh, yeah, what are we doing here? I want to see that update. All right, we're going to do this together. This is how we learn. We just we try and we just watch. So, yeah, I just got a job in 1414. That's uh, 1400 hours, 14 minutes and 23 seconds. So, two o'clock. All right, let's just keep that running. All right, while that's done, we're just going to go do something else. Remember, remind me to come back to this. I know this is a stupid video, but anyway. So, that's what you do. You go and say, hey, why doesn't it work? Most times, you're better off not touching it because it's going through a restart or something but if you're impatient like me you can just go in and just pause and start but i'd like to see if it actually works and will actually start churning again all right enough of that crap where are we at let's go look at some bitcoin phase two of the video let's see where we're at on the stonks all right let's go over here oh bitcoin's down at sixty-eight thousand five one six. And there's the old Fidelity Bitcoin ETF down to. And there's some other stocks I have here. Tesla, I don't get. I don't know what's going on with Tesla. I don't know if the EV market is over. If it's dead, all the early adopters have uh, got their Teslas and now no one else is buying them. Or just the cost of insurance, the cost of repair, the cost of maintenance. And then just the thermal runaway issue with some of these cars. Not just Teslas, all EVs, even e-bikes. Those little batteries just ignite if they are damaged or get in contact with salt water. Uh, yeah, it's not good. Boom. Maybe it's a thermal runaway, like a little infusion <laughs> reaction. I don't know. Would be Tesla buyer snub company as Musk reputation dips. All right, good enough. Whatever. All right, there's where we're at. We have Bitcoin down. It's kind of just hovering right there. It was at 70,000 for at least three to four days. Just hovering. Nothing happening. This morning, everything opens and then it drops to uh, 1,900, 2,000. And I really now believe the ETFs affect the price of Bitcoin, mainly due to the volume. And what we can do, let's see if we can get the volume up here. Is uh, I love this little trading view app. Do 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 do. You go to BTC USD on your trading view app. Oh my gosh, we're down at six. Look at that. You can see we're right up here. It was high as seventy one on. Let's see, March. Well, here's March, April. Yeah, well, April 1st. It was up there today, and then it just kind of dumped, 
stonked right here. Oh, let's see what time that is. I always like to look at the time, see when this stuff started to, to tank. Uh, 5.30. Oh, wow. So that's 05.30. That's military time. Or is that GMT? Hold on. Yeah, it's all military time. All right. Let's see what the news is. 17 minutes ago, forget Bitcoin. All coins. Oh, here we go. Pushing the all coins. Forget Bitcoin. All coins are the winners of this cycle. Crypto analysts. I don't know, man. I mess with all coins. It, it's just jumping through hoops, especially if you're in that horrible Ethereum network. You got to pay those high weight. Uh, oh my God, what's GUI fees? You just got to time the network, kind of with Bitcoin. You got to go off peak hours, and there's a way to go watch the Ethereum gas fee on a page somewhere. I forget. I forgot. You can look for it. What is the current Ethereum GWEI gas fee? And then if you can just watch it and you get a feeling like at 2 a.m., no one else is around, they're all asleep. Uh, except overseas, and then you can trade your or move your Ethereum, still paying a high fee, but less than you would during peak hours. I, I hated it. I hated it. I've got stuff in a Coinbase wallet I can't get out because to move 20 bucks of other crappy Ethereum tokens, I've got to put in 40 bucks. It's such a crap. I never do it again. So that money's lost. I'm not going to touch it. I, I'm going to, why? Spend 40 to get 20? Give me a break. Uh, yeah, what a joke. So I'm done with all coins. And I do get bad from using the Brave Browser. Uh, that's given me for just using the Brave Browser. I recommend getting the Brave Browser. No ads anywhere, on, even on YouTube videos. If you're watching YouTube, those movies, and it says free with ads, guess what? The ads never appear. It's awesome. So you can just watch. You know, the movies are all right. You know, you sit there, and it has to be on your browser. You can't do it on your TV. Uh, damn TV still shows the ads. I hate it. I can't stand commercials. It's it just brain programming crap so uh yeah you can use brave browser watch uh youtube videos and not see ads you'll see inline ads if uh, content creators have you know sponsorship which is great because youtube does not pay them at all they get pennies on a million views it's, a, it's such a rip show uh but you know rumble's picking up so hopefully rumble gets some more traction and x grows their video platform as well which will probably you know put youtube out of business a lot of content creators are fleeing YouTube just for their policies and their lack of mon you know, monetization, the amount they pay them, just all their stupid rules. And it's also cens censorship. If you're not in like think, they'll just you know, demonetize you without reason and send you through the bureaucracy hell. You never actually speak to a person at any of these companies. And I always noticed that right off the bat in 2007 and eight, when all this stuff started to come around, these websites. Amazon, Google, no one had a phone number. I just thought it was very interesting. PayPal, you couldn't call a human. They, it was by design. They don't want, they don't care about you. They're just trying to get your information and, uh, you know, whatever. Treat you like a peasant and make money off you. You are the product. And look at YouTube. That's exactly it. For the money they make in advertising, you get pennies. It's ridiculous. So people are fleeing the platform. It's just too much work. And it's not a reliable source of income for people. So no one's YouTube rich. It's crazy. Uh, people, popular ones like that, Mr. B, I've never seen any of his videos. I heard of him, but I've never seen a video pop up on my feed. I never watched one of his videos. And that PewDiePie, Poo, 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 whatever that guy's name is, I've never seen a video of his. I've seen his little picture people talk about. I just don't care. I've never seen that crap. So who's watching this crap? I don't know. That's a rant. Rant time. Rant. All right. Back to it. So yeah, back my whole point was, I don't know what the point was. All right, all coins. Ah, I'm not going to go through that Ethereum crap. I'm not going to go through all coins. Oh, Brave Browser. That's where the rabbit hole I went down. This is the best video ever. Uh, yeah, don't go down. I mean, use Brave, get the bat. And that's the uh, altcoin I do use. And it goes to the crappy uphold wallet, pure crap. And then I flip it over to Bitcoin and I leave it there. Because again, they will charge me massive fees just to move my little Bitcoin uh upholds fees uh and then also their network fees even the freaking swap it they're taking a nice chunk and that's my my concern with zerg pool too when you're mining zerg pool and i get paid out in a certain coin like bitcoin i'm mining ghost rider they're taking a nice chunk when i do the swap so it's almost man i don't know it's fun to do it but at some point you're saying the fees are so hefty what's the point man burning electricity wasting my time for pennies when you could be out doing something else, making a lot more money or having a lot more interest on something else versus paying someone else's high fees. Uh, what else we got? We are in a phase of transition between enthusiastic bull and, and euphoric bull. Okay. 
Now, here's my pro tip. You read these articles and these analysts never listen to analysts on anything, even stocks. Uh, they will always try to, they're there to program you into a narrative so you either buy or sell. They're trying to control you so that people can make, the, the elites, the rich people can make money off you by reading these stupid zero hedge, uh, what are the other ones? You know, Crypto Globe, all these sites, even the Apple News app. It, it's all biased to make you react. Sometimes it is best to buy something and just walk away, check it once a quarter. If you believed in what you bought, you know, unless you're day trading, that's a whole different thing. Ah, what did I hit? Careful button J on your keyboard, stuff pops up. All right, uh, there's more just stupid uh, Bitcoin cash. What is this? I don't, DJ, I have no idea what he's talking about there. Uh, Bitcoin slips 4% to weekly low. I don't care, I'm holding. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Pop investment, pump investments founder on Bitcoin. We just hit a really important milestone before the halving, and we'll see. We'll see. They did have doubts about the ETFs. I will admit that. And they ETFs came out, nothing happened. Takes time. Money comes in, consolidates. First week, especially that Fidelity Bitcoin ETF went down, went down by ten bucks a share almost. And then it took a couple weeks, or maybe a month, and it started to go up with Bitcoin. So it consolidated. It was brand new consolidation. Uh, so that's what happens. So when I see uh, things down, who cares? Holding, things are consolidating. It's, I don't know. There's just so much money now, especially these BlackRock guys. Uh, think in them. They have so much invested, so much influx of volume in these things. And what we can do here, you can see volume. If you go up to this uh, trading view, type in, I don't know, what the, what the FBTC, BTC? Let's look at Fidelity, so why not? I know this one, so why not look at it? Holy schmackaroos, where are we at? 60, oh wow, it's been all over the place. Uh, and also, I love this because they give you the news right here too, which is kind of sweet. Uh, where are we at? News. And you can also see, if you go back left arrow, you can see volume. And there's your volume. So it's kind of low today. Average volume, 30 days, 15.53 million. Volume here is six. Everything's down a little bit. Interesting. That's news to me. I didn't check that. Uh, oh, there's your returns. Wow. Oh, my God. Well, I don't know about that. I know it's up. If you would have bought this when it came out, well, like I did, it dropped 10, but it's now, it went down to 34, 32. So it doubled. It's up pretty much almost doubled. Uh, not a bad. How, how can you get that on any other stock right now? I mean, maybe, you know, NVIDIA, if you got in, I got out way too early. My idiot move. Again, my point is don't touch some things. You might make more money. Just walk away. Uh, let's see. So, the, yeah, if you go to TradingView, you can see the uh, volume right here. All right, let's go back. We went through what I'm looking at. We got FBTC. We got the Bitcoin price. Um, and again, this is what I do. I don't recommend what I do because I'm just, I just sometimes don't care. I'm just risking stuff, but it's fun. Uh, no guts, no glory, no risk, or no reward. And, but you can always lose crap too and cry on your pillow for a couple months. But um, not until you actually realize the loss. So I'm stuck on Tesla, which is a turd right now. And that's why I made the comment about EVs. Are they over? Due to all those reasons I mentioned, the thing's down freaking 30, 40% for me. I don't know whether to take that loss and roll it into Bitcoin because I just have faith. I think Bitcoin's going to keep going up, up, up. Not super high, but it's going to go up. I just, because again, there's so much money in these ETFs. And I really think the ETFs are now kind of, affect the price of bitcoin i don't it's my hunch what do i know i'm an idiot i went to public school in america so i'm not the brightest cucumber uh let's see what else can we do let's go look at a stupid miner let's go back please big daddy oh. so there's definitely something wonky even though it's restarted we're back at the cpu miner let's go back to the dashboard something's wrong so you definitely got to go check all right i just pause it no new alerts and let's start it back up i hate that that's that's a glitch i don't know why it does that and we'll give this another minute so while we wait for it to start that was the whole tangent with the you know the uh, trading view and all that crap tesla uh let's go back and now let's do something else while this spins up and then we'll go back and check and make sure the cpu back is back and running for reference, I'm running Windows 10 on all my CPU rigs. You saw that they're AMD. 
Ryzen 9 3900X, each have two channels of memory on them, DDR4 memory. Uh, let's see, and I don't know, what else you need to know? They're mostly uh, MSI motherboards, X470s, which I, I just like those boards. I don't know why. They're easy for me to figure out and get around. Uh, yeah, and I think also they got the clear CMOS little button built in so you don't have to jump the pins if you want to clear the CMOS. They made a nice little board for what it would cost. And it was good for my uh, GPU rigs as well. Uh, that's all. That's my reference right now. And I access stuff remotely. And I have a uh, gigabyte Fios fiber line into the house for high-speed network to make mining a little better. It's not, again, this is pennies. This is fun money. This is, this isn't anything. And as you see right now, it's only at 260 bucks and that's a couple months. And there we go. By restarting, we're back at 11.47. And I just want to round this little video out. Let's go look at some daily HODL stuff. I like this site. It, I just read headlines mostly until something catches my eye and uh, see what's going on. Uh, let's see. I don't know any of this stuff. <laughs> but again, that's how you learn, right? Oh my God, now he's warning. This guy's warning Ethereum still in danger of witnessing. Again, read this stuff at your, as entertainment only. If you follow what any of these fools tell you, you're gonna go broke. Do what you think is right. Follow the, follow the data. Don't follow the stupid articles. Because sometimes in the articles, if you read them and analyze everything their talking points say, it'll say, it'll go up if this condition, it'll go down if this condition. So it'll go up. It could go down, it could go sideways, or it could do nothing at all. It's pretty much in every article. And that's a CYA in their part, because they don't know what they're talking about. Uh, if everyone knew about this, they would have bought in Bitcoin back when it was to 25,000, not, uh, not too long ago. Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, economist Alex Kruger says, uh, Hey, Kruger, Bitcoin all-time high is coming soon. Uh, 4x move on one layer one. Oh god i i'm told you i've been in this a while since 2016 i'm not i'm done with all coins i'm sorry i people can make money good i'm not dealing with them anymore uh i'm just chasing the leader let's see all time high what a closely vulgar says that an all-time high of fresh oh, oh, oh wow and that's what's happening you can see the influx into mostly the etfs because most of these people that are putting money into these ETFs do not want to hold the Bitcoin themselves in a wallet. They don't know this stuff. Um, not, they don't want to get a wallet, a hard wallet or a soft wallet and put Bitcoin in. They'd rather have the ETF do it and let them manage the Bitcoin. It's a win, right? And that means more traditional money flows in. Billy Bob calls his boy at uh, BlackRock and says, make that ETF go up. And they'll go, yes, sir, we'll do our best. All right, let's see. I don't know, Solana, I hear about this all the time. Here's why Ethereum, again, it's, they've been talking about Ethereum forever. I've never seen it outrun Bitcoin, so it just seems to be a talking point. Oh uh, my God, I'm, I'm just, I'm just anti-Ethereum. Oh, what's this? Oh my God, look at all those zeros. Added to U.S. national debt in three months as BlackRock CEO warned situation. Wow, the BlackRock's actually chiming in on the uh, national debt. That's kind of interesting, because I pretty much thought they controlled the U.S. government. Oh, well. Uh, let's see, 2024 will be bullish for Bitcoin amid entry of large institutions. Yep, 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 yep. I agree. This is March 31st. I agree. This is a good article, so I do agree with this. I will read it later. <laughs> all right, that's all I got. I just want to basically give you an update and do some ranting today. Oh, yeah, mining sucks. CPU mining sucks, but, and it's just not looking good. But again, I might get to 300 and just turn this puppy off. I want to get up maybe 0 0.004 Bitcoin and then roll that over and just hold it. Because right now, this, this, this is pathetic. So, all right, that's all I got. Go forth to great things. I am out. <laughs>